Hello and welcome to Shrimps and Snails. This is the next video in the line of explaining the life cycle of the shrimp. Now in this video we will be going from uh, the juvies which I left off in the last video and basically going through adulthood um, and going through how they breed and their breeding process and then it will end up on the babies being reborn. Uh, so basically a full life cycle of that. I will go into detail more on how to get your shrimp to breed or how to help encourage them to breed in another video coming up shortly. Right, so the first section is going to be them getting to sexual maturity. Now, with the females, it can happen anywhere between 6 months to 18 months, depending on the water parameters, the temperatures, um, and the odd shrimp sometimes takes ages or sometimes will be ready pretty soon. When you know your female is ready to give birth or start mating the process, you will notice there is a saddle uh, that is uh, on the back of the shrimp, just behind the head, and that is basically the uh, eggs of the shrimp that haven't been fertilised. Uh, they're only tiny little specks of that, and uh, once the shrimp has uh, male shrimp has mated with her. They will travel down and go underneath the shrimp into the swim, sorry, swim, swim, yeah, swimmerets. So once they have their saddle and they're ready, they will begin a molting process. This happens really, really quickly. Um, there's a great picture here by Andrew Hendrick. I think that was his name. Sorry if I've got that wrong. That he's kindly giving me permission to use. As you can see, the shrimp is popping out and uh, it all happens in a space of about a second. Now once the females have a uh, shed, they release pher pheromones that make the males go wild. Um, that's basically to tell them that she is ready and it's only for a limited time before the new shell that she's just uh, developing will harden up and they won't be able to mate her after that. So what happens now is once the pheromones are released into the water, you'll see all the shrimp dancing around. Um, they are trying to find the female. They're rushing around trying to find her first so they can be the first one to mate with her. And obviously keep their genetics going. Once she has been successful, successful in mating, then she'll hide in a place and allow the outer shell to develop and harden. During that time, the um, eggs in the or unfertilized eggs in the top part in the saddle will slowly, slowly drop down and be underneath her swimmerets. Now, the mating process can be a bit dangerous for the female shrimp. Uh, if you've got way too many males to females in your tank, then they can just uh, attack her a bit too much, trying to mate with her. They stress her out too much and tire her, uh, she'll get tired and worn out and could possibly die. So it's a good idea if you can possibly keep an eye on. Make sure you don't have just one female and ten males because it's not really going to run well for her. Once the eggs have dropped down into the swimmerets area, she will keep fanning these constantly. Uh, this keeps fresh water supply going over them and will hopefully stop any fungus developing on them. Occasionally you'll see her drop an egg or two if she's fairly new. She may even drop all of the eggs, but it's a learning process for them. They don't instantly become the best parents ever just because they've uh, mated. She'll keep the eggs underneath her for around about 30 to 35 days, depending on a few factors. Um, obviously temperature has a factor and also uh, the type of shrimp you have. Time on bees being a slower developer and actually uh, take a little while longer to hatch. Now there has been suggestions that the temperatures of the water can have an influence on if it's a male or female. I don't know at this stage if it's been 100% confirmed which way that swings but you have to keep an eye out in case you're putting your temperatures up too high and you may get a reduction of males or females. You may notice once you've had your first buried female that the 
that there are some others that have started to become buried as well. This is because the pheromones, <coughs> sorry, this is because the pheromones that she released actually encouraged them to become buried as well. Once we get to around about 30 to 35 days, you'll see the female go into a place that hopefully she seems uh, deems acceptable to be kicking the shrimp out. This will hopefully have lots of uh, cover and lots of algae or biofilm for them to graze upon. Now the she'll kick her swimmerets and encourage the eggs to hatch and out will come an identical, although not coloured, fully coloured, but identical in appearance, shrimp. These will be around about a millimetre-ish and absolutely tiny and these are very fragile for a little while. Um, I don't think they move around much at all so hopefully you've got a lot of biofilm in your tank which will help the baby shrimp to survive cause as they're not moving around much then if there's no food where they've been born then they may not get any food quick enough and unfortunately not survive so that is basically it all in a nutshell um, if there's any other questions you have or comments then please be feel happy to chuck them in the bottom of the uh, video below um, thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel I really appreciate it and I shall see you on the next video